And that breaking news, JSO searching for these two missing kids you see on your screen, Jaquan Grant and Braylon Summerlin, only 10 and 11 years old. Thanks for joining us this morning on Action News Jax. I'm Robert Grant, in for Courtney Cole. All right, Alicia, thank you. Action News Jax will stay on top of this breaking story for you and bring you the latest updates. You can also head to actionnewsjax.com. But let's now get over to your first alert meteorologist, Maritza Ross. And Maritza, it is cold outside. All right, Maritza, thank you. JSO working to find this man. Police say 25-year-old Jordan McConnell took off during a traffic stop while an officer was trying to get him out of the car. There's a warrant right now out for his arrest for fleeing and resisting the officer with violence. No word on it that officer was hurt just yet. We did look through public records to see if McConnell had a criminal history. He has been arrested and charged with driving on a suspended or revoked license. That was back in September. We're now, believe it or not, in the second year living in the coronavirus pandemic. Friday marked the two-year anniversary of the first confirmed case in the U.S. The first case was a Washington man who just returned home from Wuhan, China, the place of origin many believe the virus came from. Over the course of two years, there have been more than 68 million cases Cases nationwide. Here in Duval County, we had 14,625 reported cases just over the past week. All of this according to CDC data. And now while cases are slightly down, hospitalizations are up nearly 6.5%. The percentage of COVID tests coming out positive, well, it's over 36%. There were 12 reported COVID-related deaths just this week. And the FDA may soon place a limit on monoclonal antibody treatment for COVID-19. The NIH asked clinics to find another treatment option because of its ineffectiveness treating the virus. The CDC says nearly 100% of nationwide cases are from the Omicron variant, but some governors, including Florida's Ron DeSantis and Texas's Greg Abbott, remain supporters of monoclonal antibody treatment. Some Jacksonville neighbors say they physically can't get to the city's recycling drop-off sites. Last week, we introduced you to a woman with disabilities whose recyclables are piling up at home, but a good Samaritan offered a helping hand. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for some help. No problem. Yeah, Action News Jax introduced Michelle and Donna just yesterday. Michelle is helping take the mess off Donna's hands. They loaded those recyclables up into Michelle's car and then took them over to the Greenland drop-off site. Okay, let's get this bad boy in the back. Now we have reached out to the city of Jacksonville yet again to find out how folks with disabilities can access those drop-off sites. We are still waiting to hear back. And to see our previous coverage and all the investigations on the recycling pause in Jacksonville, you can just head over to actionnewsjax.com. Well, the pandemic has changed so much about our lives, including how we travel and work. Oh, in a city where the winter nights don't never sleep. There's some music to wake you up. A new king of pop is in town, at least for those Spotify listeners. All right, Maritza, thank you. Pop star Britney Spears is in a legal battle with her younger sister, Jamie Lynn. Britney issued a cease and desist letter to her sister over comments made during the promotion of Jamie's book, Things I Should Have Said. Britney's lawyer says the singer has not read the book, but won't let her sister to exploit her for monetary gain. Britney recently won a legal battle with her father to terminate that 13-year-long conservatorship. And temperatures may be low, but team spirit is high for Buffalo Bills fans. Take a look at this. Coming on up, how one artist created a QB Josh Allen portrait using snow. And a New York grandmother outsmart some would-be thieves. I knew he was a real scammer. I just knew he wasn't going to scam me. Don't mess with her. Coming up, how a former 911 dispatcher helped police make the capture. <laughs> Well, get this. For the first time in its 224-year history, the USS Constitution has a woman commander. Naval Commander Billy Farrell said that she is looking forward to the next two years and the privilege to command America's ship for the greatest Navy on Earth. The USS Constitution is the oldest commissioned warship in the United States Navy and the world's oldest ship of any type still to float. And tax season is finally here. The IRS has a new plan, though, to access your data. Coming up in just 25 minutes, how a selfie could be your new passcode. And a reminder of that breaking news right now, JSO searching for two missing kids, Jaquan Grant and Braylon Summerlin, last seen walking on Detroit Street in northwest Jacksonville. They are only 10 and 11 years old. It is cold outside. Please call 911 if you know anything.
New York investigators are working to determine a motive in the death of a 22-year-old police officer, Jason Rivera, who you see on your screens here. He was killed while working in Harlem. NYPD got a call about an argument between a woman and her son, and police say the son fired those shots, killing Rivera and injuring another officer. Mayor Eric Adams vows to confront that growing crime problem in New York. This is a... Last night, officers and community members honored Rivera with a candlelight vigil. Several U.S. states are seeing a drop in COVID cases after a recent winter surge. The numbers offer some hope that Omicron could be on its way out, all the while more methods of detection are becoming available. Health experts have warned for weeks the peak of Omicron could come sometime this month. The latest data shows some parts of the country may now be on the tail end of the latest wave. Infection rates fell week over week in 19 different states. The Northeast, which saw the biggest numbers of new cases, now seeing a 40% drop. Cases are still rising slightly in the Midwest and South, but the pace has slowed down. Meantime, hospitalizations are near all-time highs, though the number has shown signs of stabilizing. The quick spread of the strain is forcing many Americans to hit the pause button on a full return to normal. Worrying about every single thing you touch, every certain person you speak to, the people you get together with. So, yeah, it's tiring, you know, so it takes a toll. But even with Omicron appearing to slow down, health experts say it won't be the last mutation of the virus. It tells us a lot about what we might expect from a next variant, that it really could come out of nowhere, um, that it could really change its properties, evade our immunity. Um, and the thing that I think worries people the most is it can become a lot more contagious, and there's nothing to say it can't also become deadlier. The White House is now banking on increased testing as the best way to get out in front of another potential wave. They've pledged to send out one billion free tests to American households. All right, Marisa, thank you. Action News Jax investigates why a family got a bill for hundreds of dollars at the end of a security system contract. They sent a... Um a generic contract that doesn't have our signature on it. Coming up next, we sent Ben to get answers. The bigger issues he found with the company's contracts. Action News Jax investigates is getting answers for a local family who is having issues with their home security company. Well, tax season is here and the IRS has a new plan to access your data. The new program will require you to scan your face and provide other personal data in order to be able to access your online tax data. The IRS says facial recognition is the most secure way to file, but taxpayer trust in the IRS is extremely low due in part to scandals. We match. Of, that's By June, facial recognition will be the only way to log into the IRS.gov. That's where people can check in on those child tax credit updates and online payment updates. It's a long way to go for an agency whose some of their processing equipment is 40 years old. I guess this, the sun would help take that down, okay. melt it away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one of the most popular chocolate candies is getting a makeover. Coming up, the reason M&Ms decided to make a subtle change to the character's shoes.